My name is Joris Moy. I present joint work with Tom Klaassen on constraint-based causal discovery using partial ancestral graphs in the presence of cycles. First, our motivation. Causal cycles are important. Feedback in dynamical systems can induce cyclic causality at equilibrium, and also fast dynamical interactions can lead to what is perceived as instantaneous causal cycles in time series modeling. There are many examples um, of systems where causal cycles play an important role in various domains, for example, in physics, in biology, chemistry, climatology, and economy. So we should not simply ignore causal cycles when doing causal discovery. Um, the famous fast causal inference algorithm um, was designed for the acyclic setting. Uh, recently, we noticed empirically that it actually works surprisingly well also on data from cyclic systems. So we wondered, how can we explain this? Uh, this work addresses this question. Um, our contributions are the following. First, we provide an interpretation of directed partial ancestral graphs, DPEGs, as representing directed mixed graphs. DMGs, the latter which can represent causal systems with cycles and latent variables. We then prove that various existing constraint-based causal discovery algorithms that were designed for the acyclic case only, including FCI, but also PC, FCI and JCI, and others, are still sound and complete under this interpretation. Finally, we provide sufficient conditions for reading of various causal features from DPACs uh, valid under this interpretation uh, for example, the absence or presence of causal relations uh, and of direct causal relations and the absence of confounding or causal cycles. All of this for directed mixed graphs that correspond with simple SCMs. First, some background. How do we model cyclic causality? Here we use structural causal models uh, because they can naturally model cycles. In particular, we use the subclass of simple SCMs that was recently introduced. So you can think about simple SCMs as extending uh, the class of acyclic SEMs to allow for cyclic causal relations while preserving many of the convenient properties that acyclic SEMs have. Here's a sketchy definition. We call a structural causal model simple if any subset of its structural equations can be solved uniquely for its associated variables in terms of the other variables that appear in these equations. So it was already pointed out by experts that the notion of deseparation is too strong in the general cyclic case. The solution we use here is to replace deseparation with sigma separation, which is very similar, except that it has an additional condition for a non-collider node to block a path. Um, this notion of sigma separation leads to the sigma separation Markov property for simple SCMs. Basically, one can show that any sigma separation um, in the graph associated to a simple SCM entails a conditional independence between the corresponding solution components of the model, or if you wish, in the observational distribution associated to the model. In this work, we also assume the converse, which we actually conjecture to be generically true, and we refer to as sigma faithfulness. So each conditional independence in the observational distribution must be due to a sigma separation in the causal graph. Our first contribution is that we extend the notion of inducing path uh, to uh, become applicable also to directed mixed graphs. Again, it is very similar to the acyclic notion, except that we treat non-collider nodes slightly differently. Now, with this, we directly uh, get our new interpretation of PACs as representing a set of directed mixed graphs, which is actually the same as in the acyclic case, except that we make use of this um, different definition of inducing path. So here you see an example uh, of a directed mixed graph on the left that is mapped by FCI using a sigma separation oracle to the directed pack that you see on the right. Um, FCI has been shown to be sound and complete in seminal work. Um, in the acyclic setting. And here we, is, we, we extend these results to the sigma separation setting, which is applicable to simple SEMs. So if you start with a directed mixed graph um, and uh, take all the sigma separations and use FCI to obtain a pack 
then the result is sound, arrowhead complete, tail complete, and mark of complete. And uh, one and four together can also be restated in the following way. We can say that FCI provides a characterization of the sigma mark of equivalence class of a directed mixed class. So very quickly, a sketch of the proof, we make use of the notion of acyclification to represent a directed mixed graph by a set of ADMGs. And in this way, we can uh, reuse the acyclic soundness and completeness results and apply them in our cyclic setting. Um, we then also uh, generalize this trick um, to other constraint-based causal discovery algorithm for which um, acyclic soundness and completeness results have been shown. Um, in the presence of background knowledge that you may have and exploit about the causal graph, as long as it is compatible with acyclification. We give a general result in the paper. Here, I only mention two special cases. The first is that the PC algorithm can now be shown to be sound and complete also for directed graphs, where the background knowledge is causal sufficiency. And the second is that the FCI and JCI adaptation of FCI for the joint causal inference framework that we recently proposed is also sound and complete for DMGs, which is nice because you can now do causal discovery from a combination of observational and interventional data in the presence of cycles and confounders. Our third contribution uh, consists of various sufficient conditions to read off features from the pack. We state all these in the paper, here I only give a few examples of what can be read off with our conditions from the pack that you see on the right. Um, this is that x2 causes x7, x8 cannot cause x1, x2 and x3 are not confounded, and it is unknown whether x2 is a direct cause of x3, even though there is a directed edge from x2 to x3, yet x6 must be a direct cause of x7. And only the nodes in x3, x4, x5, x6 might be part of a cycle. So to wrap up, we have shown that various existing constraint-based causal discovery algorithms originally designed specifically for the acyclic setting are also sound, complete, and consistent when applied to data from cyclic causal systems, at least under the sigma separation mark of property and the sigma faithfulness assumption. And we have provided several rules for identifying causal features from their output. As future work, we consider uh, weakening uh, the sigma faithfulness assumption to d faithfulness, so that we can also deal, for example, with linear systems and to extend our uh, theory to account for selection bias. Thank you for your attention. Here are some references, and here are some more.